The third weekend of conference play concludes on Easter Sunday. Happy Easter to you and yours. Uh, peeps for you and peeps Thanks, for sir. you. Okay. Jelly beans, of course, for me. Coming into today, Florida 15 and 11. And we're underway on Easter Sunday. Forecast to get to 80 before the end of the game. And that tagged him on the elbow. One, two on the way. Straight three call. Person's been super special. One, one from Caglione right at Heyman. No problem with that hit by pitch on the leadoff hitter, Larry. In the box whenever he's pitching. And draws a four pitch walk. Shift to the left side, 2 2 pitch, right into the shift. Chester, the third baseman's got it all the way across. Which is pretty remarkable, and it's very tough to see nowadays. Strikeout number two for Cags. Fruition, and that is, you know, last year as Chance shoots this one down the right side, Evans is going to give a full sprint at it, and he got it before running out of room. We'll pick up the conversation when we come back. Luke Campbell will be next, then Dale Thomas. First strikeout for Ligon. 3-0 look here for Heyman, and that is ball four. So Heyman's aboard. That was really the first of our big, big crowds last year. Transfer from Liberty. Rounds it right back off of Ligon. Scrambles, lobs it over, and Mike Rivera was indicating safe, but the call is out. Next to Johnny Long. Hit him on the elbow. Ooh. We get the super slow-mo look here. Oh, he sticks his elbow out for sure and uses that elbow guard. After further review, the ruling on the field has been overturned. The batter leads the pitch. We will add one strike to the count. Florida retains their challenge. So he's now out on strikes. Leaves him susceptible to get hit by those pitches inside. See you later. One, two, three for the second inning in a row. Scott Snyder, our producer and director today. Jeremy Otter, who was our producer and director yesterday, delivered via, uh, thanks to all of our great SEC Plus crew, Gator Vision crew here, the candy that we uh, had in our open. And now Shelton's going to wear that one, and that's not reviewable. On the base pass before Caglione comes up, and now Evans gets hit by a pitch. And square in the back. Yeah, going to get spicy here this afternoon. We're down 88 to 90 miles an hour along with the slider. Lifted high out into center field. The wind's pushing it to the gap, and that means Jordan calls off. Highsack makes the catch. Tagging at second, Shelton advances to third. So they'll be at the corners with one out. A one delivery. In the dirt and away from Long. Here comes the runner from third. Head first slide, and Shelton scores the first run of the game for the Gators for multiple innings. Line drive into left. Taylor Black will hold the runner Evans at third base. Kerwin looking for RBI number 19. It's 90 feet away. Popped him up. Long the catcher tosses the mask and makes a nice catch as that breeze was blowing it away from him. 2-0. Got him. They didn't roll it hit by pitch. I thought it went off the shin guard. Yeah, that hit off the back of his leg. I thought so. Heyman knows where this is going to go. He's already tossed his bat and getting ready to yeah. go to first base. He tried so. to sell it, walk back to the plate, though. <laughs> he knows it's not going to lie right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> After review, the call of the field has been overturned. It is a hit by pitch. Batman grants first base. Runner returns to third. 2-2. Two -two. Get out of play. Long's going to have room. And two Gators go down on pop-ups and foul territories of the switch hitter, Mershon. Swing and a miss down on strikes is Hunter Hines. From a player development standpoint as well. Oh, that's a rocket stab by Chester at third, robbing Jalen Guy of his first hit today. Then about a foot or two of his right and left needs to be at third base, and they definitely figured it out by putting Chester at third base. There was a heck of a stab. Let's see if he gives us Kent to Colby. There it is. <laughs> Trying to get through up the middle. Vershawn again with that range. Jack Caglione back to work. And the first hit of the day for Mississippi State. Guy will cut it off in the left center field gap. Trying to get to the throw. Not in time. You got to move him over to third base here. Old school drops a bunt right in front of home plate. Runner will move. Garrison gets the runner at first. 1-1 one -one from Caglione. Back down the right field way. Evans on his horse, won't get to it. 
They had to wait and tag at third, but they eventually get Heisack across. And a pickoff in the making here. Heyman throws low, gloved by Shelton. And the rundown now, they're going to get Bryce Chance. For a full windup. Popped him up. Jalen Guy got a good look at it right away. And that's the inning. Ligon, the starter. Got Evans down on strikes here to start things in the bottom of the fifth inning. Time called here by the catcher. And they're going to intentionally walk Caglione. You know, oh, one, one totally game get with this. Nobody on. Oh. Yes. Totally get this. I, I mean, with Cags at the plate, you got to think it's above that too. So maybe not a bad idea. Sheldon lays down a great bunt here to advance Caglione to second. Schulke, Perlin shoots this one into right to the track. Jordan there to make the catch. Again, up to 255 at the moment. Takes ball four with a little panache. One sacrifice on the season. Squares. Lays it down. Caglione calls for it. Only plays to first. They get the out there. It's going to drop. And they'll round long around third. Guy's throw is cut. Heyman trying to get the second, and it's kicked around. And the Bulldogs lead it 2-1. to one. What a hustle play for Mershon right there. Garrison looking at the dugout to see if they want to pitch to Dakota. And, and they, they will. More throws, the better. And now the bases are loaded. Walked him, and a run scores. RBI for Downs is eighth of the year. Mershon comes in to touch you to make it three to one, Mississippi State. Five and two thirds. This is a problem. Evans racing to the gap, lays, and he's got it! <laughs> we have pinch hitter next, 3 2 pitch is ball four. Shelton's a lefty, but that's not until you get back to the top. And Albert's going to wear it. That's the fourth time the Gators have been hit by a pitch. Garrison does drop it down. Schulke's play is to first. Next from Sierra, off the end of the bat. Runner crashing from third. The play over to first. Too late. Everybody's safe. 3 2 ball game. Shelton with a fly ball on the left. Downs without number two. Both runners stay put. Shoots this one the opposite way. Jordan to the track and makes the catch. Monty Larry at the plate, top of the order. And he's hit by a pitch again. Third time this weekend. Multi run half inning we've seen today. Round ball to Curlin, backhanded. Goes to first. Long leg stretch out by Heyman. Saves the day. Full wind up for Sierra to Caglione. Walked him. Give the Gators the lead. He rips one to left and almost missed playing it as downs, but he comes up with the ball in glove. And Garrison left his glove down on the ground just like that. Didn't show the target. Hines, first pitch swinging, shoots one into right. Comes that slider. Did he go? Yep, and on the tag, he is out. Sierra's been dealing here. Mershon in the hole. Long throw. And Garrison's going to be safe. And Sierra again, all the way down to two on the pitch clock. Got a swing and a miss. Shelton's down on strikes. Here's the one two pitch. Uh, and a line drive base hit starts things to the ninth. 0 for 3 today. Gets a bunt down. Albert stepping over the mound gets the out at first. Hits, and I don't know if it's. You know, the Gators just not putting him away. Or... Shelton here. Cross his body to first. Got him. That's a big time play. Swing and a miss. He got him. That's the third strikeout. None bigger than that one for Luke McNeely. Evan Sierra deals the first in the bottom of the ninth and hits Evans. Ouch. Mm. You could hear that up here. A big There's... round of applause as Caglione steps in. The 0 1 pitch shift to the right side of the infield. Tie run at first. The one-two pitch. Swing and a drive down the right field side. If it's fair, it's gone. It's a home run. Chop this one up for the Gators. Caglio with a two-run blast. And the Gators win the game and the series.
by the final score of four to three. The legend grows. Jack Caglione with his 13th home run of the year. Just let your natural ability take over, and that's what he does right here. He just hits it hard, and that's a low launch angle right there, and he just top spins it right out of this ballpark for the series win.